Vlog at 142. I haven't really filmed much today because, I mean, sometimes you just gotta start slow. I got up early this morning and went to my interview, which was basically just signing paperwork. And so I'll be working with a staging company um, starting tomorrow morning. I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to film at all. I mean, you guys got enough truck and furniture action when I was with Global Neighborhood, so I have a feeling that none of you are going to be falling all over yourselves in hopes that you see more time-lapse footage of a truck getting loaded and unloaded. This will be a trailer behind a pickup truck, which makes it a little bit different but not, you know, significantly different. So I was able to get some work done with Agnar's box, which was good. Did a little outlining, just getting that figured out. Waiting to hear back on this Seattle job. Waiting to hear back on the Chicago one too. It's weird because now that I don't have Boomerang to work on, I actually have a chunk of free time every day that I didn't used to have, where it would be like, I would write some and then I'd work on Boomerang stuff and then that would be like, my day would be pretty well taken up by that, as well as actually having a job back in the day. Now, I'm just kind of like, all right, like, it's kind of nice not having to work literally all the time. Speaking of not having to work, I finished The Goblet of Fire. It was great, and I can't wait to read Order of the Phoenix. I, the Reddit thread that I posted yesterday went kind of nuts, and so heard a lot of good things, and Order of the Phoenix came out as being a really popular one. Because everybody knew that I was reading it next, I'm sure that's part of the reason, but... Uh, one or two comments had a few little spoilers in them, so I like, thankfully they said there are no big spoilers here, and I was like, I'm still not reading your comment then, and I should start driving. I think, I was gonna see if I could see my buddy Rob today, but I think I might go for a run. I just don't know what to do with myself. I'm not particularly excited to go for a run. I think I had one too many slices of an undisclosed food source. It's nice and warm out, so that part's good. Like. I feel like I want to go for a run, uh, I need to go for a run, but I just don't feel like I'm going to survive the run. That's more the issue. But I gained like six or seven pounds on the convention slash Chicago run there somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but I like now I have to run. And also I should, I, I do need to get on top of the whole like losing a little more weight thing. So since I'll be moving furniture again, that'll probably help. And then. Keep running. Ah. Oh my gosh, horrifying. I don't know if you can see this, but there are like thousands of gnats that like, here, they're getting stuck in my arm here. There's like a cl cloud of them. I've already cleaned myself off twice. Ugh. Certainly not a fan of having them all stuck in my arm here. Sleep till noon, but before it's back, till I've your picnic basket, cups and jellies, don't pop. He's industrious. Jody, look, no, uh, hey, hey. Just found these in the uh, desperation to find my tax return and checkbook last week when we were, you know, freaking out in the attic, trying to like find it before my flight, like, Forgot about these. This, I feel like this this helps to demonstrate how I'm feeling today. These are from different countries in which I've lived. Obviously, this one I had made. You can get license plates made in France. They just let you do it. I figured that out and I made them as presents for my family. In France, this one is from Sierra Leone. This one is from Togo. These license plates were off of Land Rovers with Mercy ships, and I put magnets on the backs of them. Actually, I don't think I put them up on the wall when I was on the ship. I think I just did this to put them up when I came back, like fridge magnets. These are representative of years of my life. Adventures and friends and places that just seem really distant right now. You know, and I have friends all over that I really miss a lot. And that's the fragmentation of your heart. Like if you travel and if you fall in love with countries and you fall in love with people, 
that then scatter. Not the country is scattered, but they get scattered the more of them you get to. That's been the hardest part of the last few years. I, I don't know where to settle. And I, that's why I haven't settled. I was on the road for two years, training people on electronic medical records. I spent the last year un or underemployed, funder employed, not fun. This year has sucked for that. Because I don't have like a centralized location where a lot of my friends are, or a lot of my experiences are, or you know, it's it's made it really hard to know like where do I stop? How do I stop? I don't I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to pick a place and sit still for long. I haven't for years. I haven't stayed in one place for more than months in a long time. I mean Sierra Leone probably wins. I was there for 10 months. Aside from Sierra Leone, I haven't been anywhere for 10 months for like six years, even France. Hey. Oh. The desire to go to Seattle right now is really based on a couple of, a number of factors. One, it's close to my family here and I, ow. It's close to my family here and I have family there. Two, the job that I've been put up for sounds pretty good. The university has a great reputation. The role that I would be filling is one that I'm sure that I could do well. As a city, Seattle's got a lot going on. It's surrounded by natural beauty. It has a major airport, so it'd be easier to get around. My international friends would actually be able to come visit me more easily. This year's not been a lot of fun, but I'm doing okay. Like, I don't feel terrible. And I'm actually really happy with a lot of things in life. Like. I'm really happy to be writing. I'm really happy that I just finished The Black Knight's Apprentice. I'm excited to keep writing Agnar's Box. I love my family, they're amazing. I'm so thankful for my health. Like there's so much to be thankful for. And really, even though this has been a really hard year and it's honestly just sucked, like I have so much for which to be grateful. With that in mind, whatever happens this week and whatever happens over the course of like the coming month, longer even if things get worse i have a lot to be grateful for and i always want to put that at the forefront well i was anticlimactic